I'm Corinne. I'm Thomas. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the Chill Spot. My name is Drake, and this is Corinne. <laughs> Every time I say it, I say it a little bit different, like monotone, like my name is Drake, and this is Corinne. <laughs> Change it up a little bit. It's Friday. That's a good thing, right? Yes. Yay. Weekend's coming. The weekend's coming. What What do you most look forward to about the weekends? Well, I can't really say it's sleeping in because I'm always Because you don't up. sleep in. Yes. And I can't say it's staying up late because I always <laughs> go to bed early. I think it's just more or less family time. Mm -hmm. Everybody's there and you get to, you know, talk to them and see what, you know, how their week and stuff's been going and spend yeah. time with the grandson and... I used to look forward most to sleeping in, and uh, Matt and I had talked about this a few weeks ago. I remember in high school, I could sleep on a Saturday until like 3 p.m. Not even phase me, you know, like 3 p.m., I'm waking up, getting ready to go hang out with my friends. <laughs> now, a Saturday, and it's like 6.30, and I'm like, bing, time to be productive. So I have learned, though, staying on the same, close to the same sleeping schedule is beneficial to me because if I sleep till 3 p.m. on Saturday, sleep till 3 p.m. on Sunday, I won't sleep on Sunday night. Right. So then I've messed up my whole schedule for the week. That's true. So what do I look forward to most? Laying in, not sleeping in, just laying in bed when I wake up <laughs> and watching TV. <laughs> I think you look forward to having the weekends over with so you can spend time with me on Mondays. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, yeah, we were talking about what do we like about the weekend. Now you're rushing time. All right, so today we're going to talk about somebody. Yep. Talk about somebody. That didn't sound good. <laughs> well, but we're going to talk about them in a good way. Yeah, we're going to talk about them in a good way. So no bad rumors. Just all good. Um, I don't have any bad to say about this person. No, I don't either. Not today, at least. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to do Spotlight on one of our board of directors members. Yes. Mm -hmm. She holds what place there? The, the secretary. secretary. I was going to say that, but I didn't want to be wrong. The secretary yeah. of the board of directors is yeah. Miss Sherry Perry. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah. Go ahead. And she is from Quality Center for Rehabilitation and Healing in Lebanon, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, she's been a CNA, RNA for over 30 years. Just a little bit of time. Yeah, just a little bit of time. And um, she also works part-time in home health field. So she's got a lot of experience I was going to say, yeah, there. she does home health part-time. She has her job in the nursing home. Mm -hmm. And she caters as well. Yeah. So if she, you're in the area and you're mm -hmm. looking for a caterer, get a hold of her. <laughs> yeah. Um, we had the opportunity to actually taste some of her cooking. Oh, last, yeah? Last year, yeah. Um, some other board members and stuff, we got together and we went down earlier in, oh, for CNA Fest, yeah, she went down in Tennessee, early. and we actually had Jeff Wellman and his daughter Alexi mm -hmm. over, and it was funny because, you know, when you're on kind of like it's a vacation for some of the CNAs and the board of directors to go to CNA Fest, but our hotel was actually resident in mm. by Marriott. <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of want a, a break from your residence, but then you stay. Yeah, yeah. Some, Somewhere kind of, where there's living. There, yeah. But anyway, um, we had some of the girls from the Bahamas actually yes. came in earlier. And in the hotel that we stayed at, we had like a little kitchenette. Mm -hmm. So we fixed, um, we had salad and garlic bread, and she fixed this spaghetti bake. Yeah. That was awesome sweet so like drake said if you're in the tennessee area or even out a little <laughs> bit farther get in touch with her get because, a hold of her yeah she's amazing so sherry i have always been very fond of her mm -hmm. you know people that have worked with me often will hear me say i love an outspoken person and there's a proper way to do it there's mm -hmm. professional way to be outspoken and she is the poster yes. mother of that mm -hmm. she is very outspoken and she speaks her mind in such a professional way that I aspire to be more like that. She is very active. She will help us with the, I mean, she's on the board. She will assist whenever is needed. Members can call her if they have a question or anything like that. She's such a mother hen. 
Yes. That is exactly what Sherry mm-hmm. is. And I think she's just great. She is. I have a lot of respect for her. And quite a few times I have reached out to her, um, asked her some questions, being a new member of mm-hmm. the board of directors. And she's always gave me the guidance Good. And, and stuff. And when I do ask her, and I may not hear um, everything that she has to say, but I, because I want her to say something else. But when she says it, she doesn't do it in a meaning way. She does it in a loving way. Yes, and yes. you can learn and grow from what That's, she tells she, you. When she, she always speaks with the purpose. Mm-hmm. And if you listen, you'll learn something when she's talking. Yes. And the other thing that I love about Sherry is um, it was actually her ideal last year for the red carpet. Yes. And she wants to continue that. And um, if you don't know what the red carpet is, you need to come to CNA. Um, fest and find out because it is amazing. It's a one night a year I dress up mm-hmm. once. No, I actually love to dress up, but <laughs> that is the one night a year that we real get mm-hmm. real spiffy and I always look forward to it. You know, I said this on maybe a previous episode. I love, I, I mean, this last CNA Fest, those glass doors right there and you yes. can stand right there and see everyone file in through the mm-hmm. door coming from there hallways of their lodging and it's so nice you know you see everyone Mm -hmm. go back after session in the daytime and you know we're just like business casual like in the daytime they may have on just something like similar to what i'm wearing a polo and some pants slacks but then you see them come down they have like on a tux and their hair's nice and everything just is so great i love the red carpet and i think that was an amazing idea because CNAs feel great about it. We were all we always were formal that night, but just the red carpet has taken it another step farther. You know, walking down the red carpet, being interviewed, taking pictures in front of the backdrop that we have. Yes. There's so many cool things about it. And have you noticed that when they are coming down the steps after you open up that door, it's like before, like they've been like sitting like this in their chair. They're paying attention to the speakers, but they're their shoulders yeah they're relaxed they're they're really relaxed and then when you see them i mean they're yeah they're like pepped up ready to go they have this big smile on their face and all that so sherry i'm i'm very thankful that you came up with this idea because it was amazing so yeah thank you for everything that you do sherry if anybody does not know sherry perry (laughs) feel free to visit our website you can go to our board of directors tabs her email will be there she is on facebook Reach out to her if you guys would like to build a connection. And again, Sherry, thanks for everything that you do. Yeah, so thank you, Sherry, and congratulations. And I think that's what we got. Yep. Is that all? That's all. That's <laughs> all right. All. So have a good weekend. And until we see you next time, remember that you matter.